electromagnetic induction. Electricity produced in power stations all use the same method. A turbine is powered by steam, which in turn turns a generator. It's a generator in which electromagnetic induction occurs to produce an alternating current by moving a conductor through a magnetic field. The factors which affect electromagnetic induction are magnetic flux, magnetic flux linkage, and the magnetic flux density. And the magnetic flux density was explained in the previous PowerPoint. We know that the magnetic flux density B can be defined by the equation B equals F over I L. And in terms, it, that means the magnetic flux density is equal to the force to, 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 divided by the current in the wire times by the length of the wire. Now from this, we can define magnetic flux as a quantity. We can picture the magnetic flux density as the number of magnetic field lines per unit area, and therefore we can picture the magnetic flux as a total number of field lines passing through an area A. For a magnetic field not, uh, normal to A, the magnetic flux, or phi, or phi, must therefore be equal to the product of the magnetic flux density B and the area A. Therefore, phi is equal to B A, where B is a perpendicular component to the area A. The magnetic flux linkage in a solenoid is equal to B A N cos theta, or field strength times area of coils perpendicular to the field times the number of coils. Faraday's law also states that the magnitude of an induced EMF is proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux linkage, and Lenz's law states that the effect of an induced current, or EMF, acts to oppose the change creating it, or E equals minus the number of coils times the field strength over time. When analysing field questions, you can use your left or right hand depending on the type of question asked. If it's the motor effect, you use your left hand. And for using, using your left hand, it finds the direction of the force in the current carrying wire. Or you can find the field or motion, depending on what components you have. Uh, if you're looking for the dynamo effect, which predicts the direction of the induced current, use your right hand. Transformers use electromagnetic induction to either increase or decrease the output of a power source, such as a power station. The determining factor of whether the transformer increases or decreases the voltage, voltage output is the amount of coils on the primary and secondary. If there are more coils on the secondary, it will increase the voltage and vice versa for less coils. This is due to the turns ratio equation, where the secondary voltage over the primary voltage is equal to the secondary amount of turns over the primary amount of turns. 